begin. Up next, Live It Up takes you to Brooklyn for the TJ Martell Family Day. Stay tuned for more. A birth order. Uh, I'm the youngest. I'm the oldest. I'm the middleest. Excellent. The middle is That's really cute. Okay, so you're here today. Uh, you've been playing for a long time now together, obviously. And what does it mean to you to be here for the TJ Martell Foundation? Because I know you're going to be performing in a bowling alley. Yeah, that's an added plus, right? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, the cause is amazing. There are amazing artists here, so it's just going to be a really great fun day. And what will you be performing? We'll be performing our new single. It's called Let the Games Begin and a couple of older songs from our album, Living Room. Helping out here today, what made you say yes? Well, anytime I, I can I can lend my name or come out and uh, and help raise some money for for a worthy cause, you know I think we feel obligated to do it. Uh, we got to have fun today. It's going to be a, a great event. Uh, they've been doing it for a while now, and you know we get to have fun. We get to raise money, and like I said before, it's an enjoyable event. It absolutely is. Nothing better than family day. So thank you very much for joining us. Have a great time. Thank you. And hope you get lots of strikes. <laughs> The baskets. Shot. I know. I was gonna say. I don't know if you can overhand a uh, bowling ball, but we, we could no, try. Shoot, ball. shoot for two. <laughs> Thank you so much. actually isn't Dea, it's Grace. Um, Dea is a Hindi translation of Grace. So my grandpa immigrated from India, so there's like the connection there. And I just thought it would be a really fun thing to change up my name a bit. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not beautiful. my name. <laughs> and I also heard you in another interview talk about empowerment, and Live It Up is all about that. It's about celebrating the essence of life. Who instilled that in you? Um, I think my parents mainly. Um, they kind of just, we traveled a lot when I was younger, and I got to see different parts of the world, and I just had like a very open-minded outlook on life. So I think just like from all of that, just kind of formed my opinions on today. Yeah. Now, do you have a vision board at home? Do you have a board that says, <laughs> I want to reach these goals? And if so, what's on it? How, do you, how is it decorated? <laughs> I'm not that organized. Okay. but um, I do have just in my head just things that I want to accomplish and goals that I want to reach by a certain point so yeah I mean Can I want to share one with us because you just went gold I, I mean and that's pretty exciting <laughs> I want to spread a good message to um, young people, young girls especially, um, just because I can relate to them so much. You know, I'm 17, so I feel like I should, I'm in the position where I can have a good message and I should have one, so I think that people should just be themselves and be confident in who, who they are. I wish I knew you when I was 17, because I'm 50 now, and I heard you say also that, you know, a lot of times people think that they need to find their identification in being part of a couple, yeah. and not just being who you are as an individual, and I yeah. thought that was uh, remarkable. Can you tell us about your feelings about that? Yeah, I mean, I was never one to always have a boyfriend or always have to chase after someone you know I kind of just did my own thing and you know focus on myself first and like kind of find myself because it's hard when you're so young like you don't know what you want and you're just like doing it because all your friends are doing it so it's it's okay to just like be you. <laughs> and your song Hideaway it went gold so let's talk yeah. about that what are the first few words of that because it's always in the beginning that uh, the message is un, you know, revealed. Yeah, it's boys seem to like the girls who laugh at anything, the ones who get undressed before the second date. Um, girls seem to like the boys who don't appreciate all the money and the time that it takes. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. And, that, and that's the secret to <laughs> life, right? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> and um, when they invited you to participate in TJ Martell, why did you say yes? Um, I think it's a great cause, and I love doing shows, and I love doing supporting a great cause for um, cancer and AIDS research. I think that's amazing. So I always like to do those shows when I can. Now your genre is? 
country. And as country, it's all about the story. It is. It really is. Which is why, like, you know, two records ago, I, I named the record Storyline, and I had a song called Storyline just because I felt like that's what country music's all about. It is about the story, and it's about the connection. It's about the fact that when you sing this song, when you write this song, um, you're telling the story of your own and hopefully somebody else's. And you can sort of connect with somebody you've never met through that song, through that story. So, yeah, absolutely. It's all about the story. And uh, we're here today, I was just going to say, we're here today to raise some money for TJ Martell, right? And why did you say yes? Because it's so, I mean, it's so incredible. They do so many things throughout the year. This particular event really means a lot to me because I feel like, I don't know, this is a little bit of everything. There's, I mean, there's so many reasons I don't even know where to start, but um, I believe the work that they do is absolutely tremendous. And the more you learn about them, the more you'll see it. It's, it's incredibly moving. Um, and it shows the power of music, too. I think music can be used for good things and great things. Um, and quite frankly, I'm just glad that we get to witness that firsthand and be a part of that music. Um, when it can do something good, that's what music, that's what making music through your whole life is really all about. You get to a moment like this, you know? Absolutely. The universal language of love. It's just such a great foundation and, uh, you know, it's, it's been for 40 years now, it's, it's just, you know, raised millions and millions of dollars for cancer and, and, and age research. So I just think it's amazing and uh, really happy to be a part of it. And when my managers brought it up to me, I, I was right in, I'm from Connecticut, so I was right here. I had a show in Connecticut last night. I was like, totally we'll be there, so. And how was it? How, how was the show? What was it, it was like? It was awesome. It was, uh, it was uh, me, Charlie Puth, Rachel Platten, who's here today, um, Rob Thomas, a bunch of other great acts. And, and I got to perform with Rob Thomas too, which is really cool. So it was a, it was a blast, and so now today I'm in I'm in a good mood and just happy to be here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and when you found out that you had gotten accepted into American Idol, who was the first person you told, and what was that moment like? Because that really like is a I moment of like, discovery. Like when I found out that I was gonna be on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First person I told. Well, I think my parents they came and then uh, with me when I got the golden ticket or whatever that first day. I think I told. Uh, I think I called my aunt actually. I'm really close to my I think I called her on the way home, said I'm you know, I might be on the show, you know, it's gonna come up and stay tuned just in and case. It definitely was, which is which is cool. So it was a wild it was a wild the last year was pretty crazy. And you've got new music coming out that's your own. Tell us yep. about that. Yeah, I have a, a single coming out. We're hoping at the end of January or early February and uh, for maybe a single and then the whole album's basically written and, and ready to roll, so it's just you know the next stage is now of, of getting it out there. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. Looking forward to it. Congratulations. Have a great day Thank today. Thank you so much. You too. How are you? Oh, I'm so excited to be here. This now, is really cool. What does Alyssa mean to you? Because you must love her so much you made shoes for her. Yes, she is absolutely incredible. Like, she, for those of you who don't know, she is the head of Media Base, which is, like, amazing. She's so sweet and down to earth for such, like, an amazing job title. Like, just meeting her, you'd think, oh, you know, she's just like a normal, awesome, really nice girl. But she also, like, is just, has this great heart and has this great ear. Like, she's, I'm obsessed with her. As you can tell, I literally can go on and on and on about her. It's a love fest. So when TJ yeah. Martell asked you, you said yes because you knew right she away. would be right. Right away. She's, like, amazing. And what do you have going on now? Um, I'm actually releasing a debut single really soon, early 2016, and I can't wait for everyone to hear it. And what's one of the songs on it? Um... Well, my album is coming out a few months later, but uh, one of the songs, uh, uh, there's a song called Boombox that I have performed at, uh, I performed at a tree lighting event in November, no big deal, what's happening, and that was really awesome, I can't wait for everyone to hear like, the recorded version. And when you got your big break, uh, what was that like for you? Oh my gosh, you know, I've always wanted new music, and I think doing Austin Alley kind of just opened up so many opportunities for me, which was great, and you know, when I got signed by Big Machine and found out I was working with Republic, it was like... Amazing. I mean, this is something I've wanted to do my whole life, and to find out that I can actually do it is like incredible. And on your vision board, what do you have? What's what's going on your vision board for you? Whether um, it's an actual vision board or if it's just in your mind. I'm definitely playing Times Square one day. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So big billboard saying, "Here she is." Yes. Ah, Ladies oh and God. gentlemen, it's incredible. happening now. Yes. I can see it with you. So let's see. Mm, let's visualize it. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely really? beautiful. I love the colors they picked. I do too. And the wardrobe that you chose. It's fantastic. <laughs> and who are you wearing today? That's really cute. Oh, totally vintage right now. Okay. I am actually wearing my um, manager's husband's 12-year-old shirt of, like, it's amazing. <laughs> like, he wore this when he was 12 in the 70s. So, this is really cool. Stuart Weitzman shoes. Cute. Um, vintage necklace. 
Very nice. Leather pants, Very nice. you know. Well, I see you often on my television because my Hi. son Matthew Dunninger is 10. And so I just, hey, for Matthew, Matthew. I just, this one's for you. I never do that. But <laughs> but have a wonderful time. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. You're oh lovely. my God, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so Thank sweet. You. Live it up. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Hunter Hayes. You're watching Live It Up. We've got Jack, Jack, and Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> they added Rachel. So Rachel, if you could ask them a question, what is it that you'd ask them? Um, I know something about them. Do you want to know? Do you know this? Do you know that they met in kindergarten? No. And True. can you tell her the story about how you met in kindergarten and the t-shirts that you guys wore? Okay. So to all the viewers and to Rachel, in kindergarten we met first day. We were wearing the exact same t-shirt. It was a Gap shirt. He had the blue one on, I had the red one on. And both of our names were Jack. And you know, in kindergarten, that's something you become friends over very easily. And so that's just how we met. Yeah. That's the okay. story. And you have a best friend, Rachel? Yeah. Okay, and who's your best friend? I have like a lot of best friends. As any girl, as any girl should, you can't just pick one, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Um, and do you have a favorite song that Jack and Jack sings? Um, there's like a bunch. Okay, and how about you? What's your favorite? My favorite that we sing is Like That. It's like, I bump it almost every day in the car. I still love it, so yeah. Excellent. And do you guys know how to grapevine? Grape? How to grapevine? Yeah, that? okay. I was born in 1965. It's a dance move. Okay, this is how you grapevine, okay? You're going to take your right leg and you're going to kind of vine it. You're going to go behind it and then kick and behind it and then kick. And that's how you grapevine, okay? So for you viners, it's just like step right, behind right. kick and step we behind kick. Step. There you go. There you go. So uh, I hope you guys had fun and I wish you all the best. And why did you decide to uh, help TJ Martel? Because, I mean, what better, what better cause to support than one that affects so many people's lives? You know, these diseases just, I feel like they wreak havoc on so many people's lives in the world. And it's just something that I think everybody wants to put into. So, I mean, it's something we're really passionate about at, at the end of the day. And, and your whole family's involved, right, Rachel? And mm -hmm. what does it mean to you today? Are you going to bowl it all? Yeah, and I think it's like a really great cause, you know, like you're saving lives every day. So Excellent. And I wish you all happy journey. So keep on vining, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for going? standing in for us, all right? Okay, happy journeys, you guys. Be well. On the count of three, we're going to yell out your name. One, two, three, go! D-N-C-E! -E. So we're here with D, I was just gonna say D-N-C-E. I have dyslexia, but it doesn't count today. All right guys, so you played at the Jingle Ball the other night. What was that experience like? In, amazing, it's a, a dream come true. Madison Square Garden, thousands of supporting fans. It's a great show, there's so many amazing artists to perform on that stage, and Z100 always kicks it off. So we had a, an amazing time. Excellent. And what I wanted to also ask you is that I know that you've got a lot that's happening uh, in the future, but more importantly than that question, because I only get two questions, is why are you here to support uh, TJ Martel? They asked me to be here today, and me personally, I've done this event before, and it's so great, and you're raising so much awareness for good causes, and, and we're just happy to be here to perform and bring some joy and smiles to these people's faces today. Excellent. And uh, what's coming up for you guys? Um, to, coming up for us, we're just running with our single Cake by the Ocean, and People are, uh, are buying it and supporting and playing it and hopefully it will become everyone's favorite song. Excellent. And uh, we're here uh, with Live It Up and uh, thanks. I, I want to ask you many, many more questions, but on the count of three, let's just do one, two, three, go TJ Martell. One, two, three, go, go TJ Martell! Martell. Great, thank you. Good. Now, why did you decide to help TJ Martel? Because that's a wonderful foundation. Because of Alyssa. She's um, been a humongous supporter since four years ago. She believed in me when not a lot of people did, and um, I do anything for her. And iHeart has been incredible for me, naming me for the iHeart on the Verge artist. So, and uh, you're performing tonight. And what will you be performing? Fight song or another song? I'll be doing two. I'll do being um, fight song and stand by you. Excellent. And what does fight song mean to you with the wonderful success that it's had? It's really incredible. I, not in my wildest dreams, that I imagine what has happened, and I feel really grateful that it's moved people and helped encourage people and inspire people. It absolutely has. Congratulations for all that you've accomplished, and I wish you all the best of success. Thank you so much. Two, 
Yeah, look, thank you. We got like really quiet, uh, crazy coordinating you. threads. I yes. know. I've been, Did I've been somebody shop make that for you? I've been shopping in my mom's closet a lot recently. So this go. is uh, an Indonesian <laughs> garment that I just, you know, it's free flowing. It feels nice. Yeah. I'm glad and you, are you like it. Are you close with your mom? I'm close. I'm very close with my mom. I'm really close with my parents. I call them my Hobbit family. There and they're, they're here today. They're, I'm from New York. So, you know, they got to come to the show today, which is yeah, awesome. So and, nice yeah. shout out to your Hobbits. Hello, yeah, Hobbits. Hobbits. I love my Hobbit family. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Uh, so you started out in Nickelodeon. How did yeah. you get that big break? Um, you know, I uh, was always auditioning. I, I started here in the city. My first gig was a show on Broadway when I was 16 called 13. And, uh, and all the while I was auditioning for TV stuff. And, and uh, I auditioned for the Nickelodeon people like 10 times. And then finally I ended up doing, you know, Rags, this movie, and the show How to Rock for them. And it was a wonderful time. It was, you know, I spent about a year on the channel. And, and they were really great to me. And it was a lot of musical stuff. So it's, it's cool. But, you know, it's... it's uh, it's one of those things where it's it's interesting to, to, to see w what we've been doing now and what was what was happening then. It's awesome to, to feel the growth. And two more questions. Have you ever been slimed? I haven't slimed. It was amazing. We did this show, Figure It Out, which they brought back. And uh, and all these people were like, oh, we're going to get slimed. I was like, yo, we're going to get slimed. That's so <laughs> tight. Um, and there was one day where I got slimed four times in a row because there were multiple shows. So I would just go back and shower and then get slimed again and then go back and shower. So uh, it was it was, it was was a wonderful experience. Yeah, thank you to it Nickelodeon for that. Come true. Right? Thank you, Nickelodeon. <laughs> the shows are cool, but getting slimed, that was the highlight for sure. And uh, you're making a difference here today with the TJ Martell Foundation, and what made you say yes? Oh my gosh, it was a no-brainer. I mean, it's it's an incredible cause, and, and it's wonderful to perform for any wonderful cause, so I'm, I'm super excited to be here. Excellent. And how do you warm up? How do I warm up? I usually, you know, stretch out my body a bunch, I do some lip trills, you know what I'm saying? Wait. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, wonderful. Thank you. thank you very much. tuxes and our fabulous gowns. Because that is what Family Day was all about. After years and years of galas in our penguin suits and just bringing industry people, Family Day was created 16 years ago where you could bring really your family, your friends, put on jeans, put on sweatshirts, bring your kids and have them experience this amazing fundraising event. And how many people are going to be bowling today? What, what are the parameters of the event? Well, it's a little different this year because now we combine kind of VIP meet and greets with bowling. So you get a bowling lane, you get VIP meet and greets with your favorite artists. So it's a great way to just really extend family fun into a charity event. So we thought it was a great differentiator for this year. And how did you select uh, your honoree this year? I'll let you know, every year we try to get someone related to the music industry from different walks of life. We've had a lot of people on the record label side, we've had the TV side, uh, we've had the management side, and uh, when it comes to the amazing power of radio, streaming radio, um, there's no one like Alyssa. She's a powerhouse in the music industry. Everyone simply loves her. There's not a person who just doesn't raise their hand when you mention her name. So. The second her name was brought up, everyone jumped on board and said she would be absolutely perfect. scenes, but I get to support wonderful people like Elvis Duran and all the other people in our company that make it so great. And you started out as an intern? I did, 20 years ago. <laughs> wow. So now tell us about your connection with Rachel because uh, she was screaming about you, talking about the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I love Rachel Platt and um, I've been a fan of hers long before Fight Song. It's been years that I've really loved her music and the uh, uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade goes by my house and I was leaning out my window wearing a Santa hat, screaming to Rachel as if she was going to hear me. And somehow she heard me. And she looked up and I was like, it's me. It's a miracle of 34th Street. It really was. Because, I mean, you have to imagine there are millions of people out there on the street. And somehow she actually heard my voice screaming to her. So. And when TJ Martell Foundation called you to make a difference, uh, what was it about their request that just made you say yes? 
Um, it's a no-brainer for me. I mean, it's an incredible organization. They've raised hundreds of millions of dollars for a great cause. Um, I myself lost my dad to cancer, and this is a very personal cause for me. So when somebody asks me to do something to support a, an organization like this, it's just an obvious no-brainer. Okay, what about your customized bowling shoes? Uh, the lovely Laura Morano made these fabulous bowling shoes for me. I love them. I'm so ex excited. And apparently Joe Jonas loves my bowling shoes too. So I think we're going to have to get him a pair. Excellent, because I think his feet are just a little bit bigger than yours. A little bit. We'll have to get him his own. <laughs> now, and how did you get your internship? Um, I just called and sat in the reception area until they let me in. <laughs> Perseverance pays off in our industry, right? <laughs> apparently, yes it does. Are you having fun today? I'm having a great time. What is it you like about this? Uh, Here, let me interview you. Okay, good. Go ahead. What are you loving about today? Okay, TJ Martell Foundation stands for everything that's good in the world. They take their money, as they have for 40 years, and they're helping leukemia, they're helping AIDS, and the money's actually going to research, and they're finding cures that other people just couldn't find. So anything that TJ Martell does, I'm happy to support. She's fabulous. <laughs> what can I possibly say to top that? Other than we're here to honor our friend Alyssa Pollock today, who we love. Alyssa Pollock is such a shining superstar in my business, in radio and music, and she's just so in love with what TJ Martell is all about as well. So she has married music, radio, and TJ Martell, and together all three of us are fighting the fight. And today, what a great day. I mean, it's a family fun day. What's, what's it about your job that you love? People I work with, first and foremost. People like Melissa Pollock. You get to work with- Name people. dropper. Well, you know what though? There's a reason she's yeah. being honored today, yeah. and it's because she really is a spark plug for not only business, but all musicians go to her. All of us in the radio division go to her because she's our friend. And I love working with the incredible people we work with, and the listeners, the fans, and the artists that we interview every day. I mean, it's a, I can't think of a better job. I can't. I really well, can't. You make me happy every morning. And I wouldn't normally say that, but I, I'm a fan too. I'm a listener. Uh, and so it, it's nice for me to be able to tune in too because that's what gives me inspiration. And I think you're right. It's people coming together for the goodness of all, right? And, um, you know, putting down the egos. There's nobody here with an ego today, which is so great. So thank you so much for spending time here with us. We love being here. We love being here. And we'll do it again next year. Thanks for watching our cover of the T.J. Martell Foundation Family Day. Thanks for watching. Live it up.